Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Isabella. So for those of you who don't know, I'm from South Africa. And currently South Africa is having a bit of a crisis. <laughs> South Africa are dying and it might not be physically but emotionally we we don't know what to do anymore we don't have hope anymore our women are getting raped kidnapped and murdered just because they are women we are in a crisis where no woman feels safe in South Africa where we have to look over our shoulders every few seconds just to make sure we are still okay. I can't talk for everyone, but I think a lot of us walk with a fear inside of our hearts. A fear, a fear of getting murdered, a fear of getting raped on the street, a fear of getting burned and tortured and cut into pieces and honestly just a fear of getting our lives taken away from us or being scarred for life we started there's been a movement in south africa called hashtag am i next where women have been protesting against rape and murder and kidnapping of other women. A lot of men have joined in on the protest too. And I'm here to ask you guys to please pray for us. To send out your thoughts, your love for every woman you know. Because any one of them can go through exact same thing. Hey, hi guys. Um, while I was editing, I was felt there was something else I needed to say that's on my heart. There are so many of the women in our lives and the men in our lives that don't speak out about what has personally happened to them. And I remember countless stories my friends have told me about either being raped by their stepfather and being told that they tried to seduce him or that their boyfriends abused them and they don't want to say anything because they love them or raped them and they didn't want to make a case about it just because they fear the consequences of what is he going to do to me when I speak out and honestly we have to be there for the people in our lives who are too afraid to speak out and be a voice for them because they, they don't, most of them can't really escape the trap that they're in and they need our help and our support and our love. Now, um, these people are going to stay anonymous, but if you know that I'm talking about you, I just want to tell you that I love you so much and that being manipulated and raped and forced to stay silent is not okay. And I just want to say one last thing. If you have ever been a victim of rape, of abuse, I want you to know that you are loved and you are cared for and you are not less worth just because of the scars of your past guys it's very important we stand together in this time for the people that have spoken out about what happened to them and the people who haven't we love our women and we should protect them because if we aren't going to protect them, what are we going to have left? Then, there's also been a few xenophobia attacks here. And people have been torturing other people. 
they've been murdering other people, destroying their homes, their workplaces. It's really been going rough. There's been a lot of victims the last few weeks, murder and rape and kidnapping. Um, I'm gonna put in a slideshow so you guys can see. Um, I've put in photos of those women and also some of the xenophobia attacks.